So I wanted to do a thermal test today as I was talking to Carlos about how the group head is warm but doesn't burn me, probably because the temperature is lower and he confirmed that the temperature of the group head only gets to 50 C. And he's looking at how they can raise that temperature because really that temperature should be the temperature of the water that you're putting in. So uh, this is a thermal camera. I just looked at the uh, shower screen as the machine was heating up and um, it slowly heats up. This is sped up by um, a factor of two. And you can see it doesn't really change much. Uh, there's some fluctuations, but it's not really going anywhere fast. Heat is a major issue when pulling a shot. And since the group head was at 50, I suspect a lot of my shots, even though I rated them at 96 or 95 C, they were losing a lot of temperature just getting through the group head. Um, and this would probably explain why some of my um, shots, they still tasted good, but they had a similar profile as like a flare, um, flare signature, where you could, you could tell that the water had, had uh, reduced in temperature. So I reoriented the camera here, um, and I want to flush the um, shower screen to see how it does. And remember, this, this shower screen is the Matrix Nano, um, with, which has a modification in it to, to make the water come more from the center than from anywhere else. Um, and this test showed that uh, the water was coming through, but it, again, um, wasn't getting really up to the temperature I want it to be at. So it, it maxed out at like 81, 82. However, in this first shot, it reaches a much lower maximum. Um, so it looks like here, based on where I'm, I'm centered on the, the dot, we're at maybe 70 at the max. And this is because it's the first shot after I warmed up the machine. So I did notice after I've run a few shots, it heats up faster and um, the temperature is able to do better. Actually, it gets up to 75. That's good. Um, but this is, again, towards the end of the shot. So the, the initial water that you push through the puck is going to then drop by whatever the temperature of the coffee is. So if my coffee is at like, you know, typically it's at like around 22 to 24 degrees Celsius and an equal amount of coffee to water, you're, you're talking about dropping the temperature down uh, by like uh, almost half. So... Uh, you're talking, you're getting down to 50 degrees Celsius, uh, which <clears throat> isn't great. Um, I mean, you can still extract. Um, I think the struggle is I was working back and forth between new profiles and trying to figure out what was wrong, and, and it turns out to be water temperature. Um, so this is, again, the group head um, getting some, some heat as I uh, heat it up again to run more water through it. So... Uh, now I pulled another shot. Now this one got up to temperature a lot faster, but again, we're getting to like a maximum of like almost 80 degrees Celsius. So the the differential between this and the coffee that I'm going to put in here is is about 60 degrees. So you're going to lose half of that temperature roughly to the coffee. So now you're down back into 50s. Um, which is why the group head really needs to be hot. I mean, most E61s, the group head is really hot. Um, the, the decent espresso, the group head is very hot. Um, and um, this is really the, the, the main challenge for this machine. Now, uh, to be fair, this is fixable. This is a software change. Um, I already talked to Carlos, and, and he talked about making sure that uh, it, it should be able to handle it. Um, and it just makes it a bit hotter to the touch. Um, but this is quite possible that we can do it. So I did another test in here. This is just the, the, um, shower screen cooling down. And I did, uh, another test in here where I put the blind basket in to see if I could get the temperature to stay. So I was thinking I could get the blind basket to maybe keep more temperature in the group head as I warmed it up and to see what happened. Um, however, I did run into a bug when I was heating up where the uh, piston started to engage before I hit my final temperature, which my aim was to hit 96 degrees C. 
So this is water as it just started coming through. Um, uh, it didn't seem to help doing this, and it's probably just because the group head itself isn't at the the temperature I really want it to be at. Um, but I, I have in here another shot that I pulled. I put the, the puck screen back on and the blind back on and, and it warmed up again. So let's try pulling a shot. So I pull this puck screen off, um, the blind off before um, the water goes in. So this is about a few seconds before the, the piston engaged. And when I locked in, I was at about 91 degrees on the temperature. I was using a, a blooming profile. Um, so uh, I do a, a ramp to uh, hit a flow goal and cut off at uh, two grams of output. Um, however, this didn't quite do what I wanted it to do because it didn't hit the right temperature. I don't know if it's because I had that blind basket in there. Um, and I'm just gonna let um, Carlos know. Um, and then the, the, the shot came out pretty cool. Um, now it was good. Uh, this ended up being uh, like 14.8% TDS and at like a 19% extraction yield. So it was a, a longer ratio than I'm used to, um, but it was a smooth shot. And it's probably because the temperature, the temperature profile is, is a cooler profile or, or, you know, in this case, it's an increasing temperature profile. The, the first drops that come out are lower temperature. And as the shot progresses, you get this higher temperature. Um, but it, it comes out in this uneven way um, because uh, my shot profiles are designed for higher temperature as is my puck prep. So uh, it looks like uh, side channeling can be more of a problem with lower uh, temperatures because you, you don't have it cutting through the puck. I'm not sure. Um, I think that's one area I'd like to look at more is, is how um, cooler temperatures make it through the puck. So as you can see, the hottest of the liquid coming out here is 65-ish, and that's from the sides, um, which is, uh, or oh, actually gets by the end, it gets up to 72, 73. Um, and then I'll do one more, uh, I'll, I'll pull this cup away and I'll do a flush so you can see um, how that looks like. So this flush, we get uh, close to the max of like 81 degrees. Not great, but again, this is something that can just be improved on by changing the software. 